Almost all of us always think about chords when holding a guitar, and a lot of people has failed to find the beauty of this instrument just because they've been playing chords only and not paying enough attention to the activities of each finger. This video clip is made to help training the fingers. This first lesson is not on chords, nor on positions of notes, but on controlling fingers, especially the fretting hands fingers. To follow this lesson, you don't need to read notation. It's very simple and it's called slur exercises. Practicing slurs is a good way to get to know where, when, and how to press or stop the strings. Where to stop the string? The tip of the stopping finger is as close to the upper fret as possible. The tip of the finger, now the tip of the pinky is on fret 4. This is the upper fret and this is the lower fret. It is the tip of the finger is close to this fret. But sometimes it is impossible to put it there because the other finger is working also. So the closest to the fret is better. When to stop the string? We stop the string at the same time as the plucking. We stop and we pluck at the same time. Remember that every action on the guitar is to the rhythm. Because of that, we have to stop the string at the same time as the plucking of the other hand. And how to stop the strings? We control the action of the wrist joints of a finger. Think about this part. This is called the phalanx. The phalanx closes to the palm, does most of the job. This work. Or with the third finger, you can see with this view. the second finger and the first finger the outmost phalanx should be perpendicular to the board as much as possible this is a kind of hard because when we play the music uh, uh, all of the fingers working so these some fingers affect others. This finger cannot be but look at this phalanx. It tend to be perpendicular to the string to the board. And if our finger is in a bad look this for example or notice the forearm and the wrist changing the forearm and the wrist will help for example this kind of chord this position is bad try to do this way. We have to raise the forearm up and forward a little. Now for the lesson. What is a slur? You can see 
here on music sheet. A slur note is the second of a group of two notes. These two notes marked with a curved line above or below them. When the curved line groups more than two notes, then all the notes are slurred except the first one. A slur sound is a sound absolutely tied, that means legato, to its previous sound. A slur can be up or down. This is a slur up. And this is a slur down. Up. Up. To slur down to a note on another string, we apply a hammer on that string. Now are the drills. Before doing these drills, you can, may want to take a look at my guitar terminology video clip for your new words, if you don't understand some words. For your first time, always do the drills in a very slow tempo. You might take the tick-tock, tick-tock of a grandfather clock as the beat. When you are used to a drill, you can do it in greater speed, but try your best to keep the sound clear, even, and steady. This is drill number one. We'll do it on string one, always on string one. You can pluck with any fingers you like, even with your thumb or with a plectrum. A plectrum is a pick. This is the drill. it and now let's do it step by step first is finger one the index finger we plug at zero which means the string is open then hammer at fret one with one with finger one again again Remember to work on the beat, to the beat. Now you do it two times. Each action takes one beat, starting on the beat after the word go. One, go. Again. Next, pluck at zero, hammer at fret two with the middle finger now your turn two times one go again next finger three the ring finger pluck a zero hammer a fret three Your turn. One go. Again, one go. And lastly, finger four, the pinky. Now you do it. One go. Now, let's practice the, all the four fingers, one after another, in the order of one, two, three, four, once for each finger. Remember, one beat per action, very slowly and steadily, always pluck at zero on the open string, then hammer the finger on. Remember to keep the finger pressed on the string after hammering on until the next plug. Again, listen. Now your turn. 
once per finger. One go. Again, one go. That was the upward order of the fingers. Now is the reverse, the downward order of the fingers. Starting with four, then three, then two, then one. Again. Now your turn. One, go. Once more. Now, let's do them with up then down together. But slowly, please. This is the whole drill. Now your turn. One, go. So that was the drill, the first hammer-on drill. It's the most important to keep the finger pressed on the string after hammering on until the next pluck. Please remember that. Now is drill two, the pull-offs. A pull-off means uh, we pull the finger off the string and make a sound. In this drill, one more sound is made after every hammer on of the previous drill. The pre in the previous drill, we did it like this. Now we make another sound by pulling off The following sound is made by pulling the finger away from the string, or we can say uh, pulling the finger off the string. This is called a pull off. Pull off should be made so that the music sound, a music sound, not a buzz, not a, a not, not a noise, is heard. The way is to pull the fingers off the string in a sideward direction, but don't do it too strongly. We don't do it this way or but now let's learn it step by step. First finger one. I'll do it first. I'll do it two times. Now, your turn, very slowly and steadily, and to the beat, please. Start on the beat after go. Do it twice. One, two, go. Again. And now, finger two. Your turn. One, two, go. Finger three. I'll do it. Your turn. One, two, go. Now, for finger four. Your turn. 
One, two, go. Now we will do four fingers in a row. One thing, once per finger. Your turn. One, two, go. Again, one, two, go. And now is up then down together. It will be like this. Now your turn. One, two, go. Notice that when we hammer on, we press the string still until we pull off. If you hear the sounds like this, That's not good. Should be. You can try these two drills on the other strings, any string you like. Like uh, I will do it on the second string. You can also try it with any other fingers, orders. For example, one, three, two, four. any other combination you like. And that's it. We've tried the most basic drill for controlling fingers of the fretting hand. These drills also strengthen the fingers and they help you to play simple slurs in music pieces. You may want to do these drills several times as a warm-up for your daily practice sessions. Thank you and please stay tuned for the next drills which will be on slurs to or from stopping fingers. Bye-bye.